Today we're range testing this lithium battery off of Amazon in my new Project Golf Cart. Y'all, I messed up. I bought a golf cart completely sight unseen based off of pictures on Marketplace and it's complete garbage. This is a EasyGo TXT, 36 volts. People kept telling me that the lead acids that I was putting in my golf cart were a bad idea and I needed a lithium battery. So we have got an enormous lithium battery to put in this cart after it moves. So we're gonna get this working. We're gonna figure out what's wrong with it. We're gonna make it run and drive and then we're gonna shove in a lithium battery and we're gonna range test it because I hear that's better. So let's find out. This side used to be green. This side used to be white. So these are two different carts that have been put together. This is broken here and the support is gone. Windshield's cracked and then cracked some more. Check this out. Not too good, we're gonna have to fix that. This one's cracked, that's gotta go. Missing the turn signal, more peeling. The board is completely rotted. It's actually growing mold. Batteries are junk. There's a positive and a negative lead over there and they're both blue. It came with not just one, but two broken chargers. Uh, I don't like either. We'll probably go with the Lester uh, Summit 2. Who knows what that is? That's a burn mark. It goes into the controller. This is a run toe switch. It too has a little crusty mark on it. I really hope we don't have to buy a new controller. Let's show you what we took off. We got all six of the batteries out, the back seat, the back step, and uh, this flip out back seat thing. We must have removed several hundred pounds from this cart. So the suspension has leveled out and it's looking good. We have gone from bad to worse. Let me show you. This is the battery tray. You can see there's supposed to be a bar here and a bar here. And uh, well, there's nothing. And there's not a lot left of what is left. The charging port is also broke. The switch is gone. Uh, this wire is fried, it's burned, and uh, it's burned, frayed, and corroded. So that's gotta go. Now on to the really good news. This DC motor controller, no good. I actually cracked open the controller. Don't do that, you shouldn't do that. But I did anyway, because everything else pointed to that it was bad. And when I opened it up, the controller had burn marks on it. It's time for it to go. And if you're in the similar situation, there is an answer. You do not have to buy the factory one. If you can buy an aftermarket one, and it's actually plug and play because you can get a harness adapter your cart. Oh, well guys, it has been a crazy 24 hours. My father-in-law ended up in the hospital. My wife jumped in a car and drove six hours to another state. It's been me and the kids hanging out. I did make some progress on the cart. Uh, let's show you the battery compartment. I started by cutting up all the, the back seat and it had this super thick plastic in the bottom of the seat pans underneath the seat cushions. So I, I stole that and I cut it up. I was able to not have to buy anything and make new battery trays. Don't look too close and ignore the booger welts. That's there. And then there's one on this side. This side's not gonna hold any weight. That side's gonna be for my single battery. This guy is the brand new version. It's for sale on Amazon. And the coolest thing about this is it has a BMS or battery management system and it's Bluetooth capable and it has an app for your Android or iOS phone. Lithium batteries are awesome but they have some limitations and you have to get one with a battery management system to protect yourself. I've had one that didn't have it. It came from Harley Davidson. I put it in my Harley Davidson and when I went to start it, I have a high compression engine. It shorted out the battery, caught fire inside my motorcycle. If you have a battery management system, it would actually cut out before it overloads. There's a lot of good and some bad that you need to know about a lithium battery and most people don't know about it. Let me give you some benefits first and then I'll give you some cons to think about. First off, the benefit is, well, they're lighter. This battery is 76 pounds. It is replacing six batteries that weigh between 60 and 65 pounds a piece. Number two is the rate of charge. Lithium batteries charge faster than lead acid batteries. Number three, depth of discharge. And that is how much can you use a lithium battery 
versus a lead acid battery. A lithium battery, you can take all the way down to zero and it will come all the way back up. So when a lead acid battery goes to zero, sometimes they don't recover and if they do recover, they're definitely not back at 100%. The way that a lithium battery actually discharges is different than a lead acid battery. A lead acid battery, when it is full, as it discharges, the voltage drops down to nothing. A lithium battery will discharge at the same rate till it's absolutely empty and then just drop off. There's a few things you need to be aware of. Number one, you need a battery management system and it's gonna do a lot of things for you. It's gonna balance the cells. It's gonna provide overload protection and a good one will provide thermal protection, which means if the battery gets too hot, it's gonna cut off. If it gets too cold, it's gonna cut off. But more importantly, if you live in a place where it happens to get below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, which is a freezing point, you can't charge a lithium battery. Thermal protection is important. So lithium batteries are inherently more dangerous than a lead acid battery. Uh, the cells inside of these can be unstable if they're not charged correctly, balanced correctly, stored correctly, um, or if they're punctured. So I'm gonna pay a little more attention to um, making sure that nothing is rattling around inside the compartment, make sure it's not rubbing. We're gonna strap it down real good. I'm not terribly concerned about puncturing it because it's on the inside of the cart. If you have a lead acid battery and you drop a wrench on it, I mean, it's gonna like arc weld that wrench straight to those terminal posts. This battery, if you drop something across the terminals, it's gonna short out and the BMS is gonna kill it. Right now, this battery is about 1,050 bucks on Amazon, shipped. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check them out. They're a very popular brand. Their 12 volt batteries have done very well. This is the brand new one with the Bluetooth and the BMS. The app is not highly rated right now. Maybe because it's new, I don't know, but it is functional and I could see the data that I needed to see. Here's another negative for a lithium battery. You actually have to have a lithium battery charger. So I have one on the way. When it gets here, we're gonna charge it all the way full and then we're gonna run this thing slap empty and see how far it goes. So it runs and drives, battery's in, new cables. My charger came in, my NOCO GCP1 is here. This is a custom piece that goes over this charging port right here and this mounts straight to it. So you can take your extension cord and just plug it straight in. It's a game changer when you're moving to an onboard charger. I can't mount it today because we got to take the body off for paint but we can get this battery charged and we can get some miles in to see how good this Chins battery is. This is a private road. It is actually marked for golf cart use. Here we go. Yeah, regen set to zero and everything else is set to factory. I think I'm gonna hop over on the sidewalk where it's safer. That's better. It's not flat, very beautiful, shady. I'll be here a while, very slowly for you guys. Now we're going up this hill, way out the side of a mountain. Fairly gentle, but it's definitely not flat like a golf course, so you're gonna have to take this distance with a grain of salt. It's two miles on the dot back to the truck. Let's check the battery. We've used 5% of the battery. 5% of the battery. We're at 99 amp hours out of 100. Um, I think I'll be here a while. Let's go. I'm at 8.8 .8 miles and I still have 83% of the battery remaining. I vastly underestimated how far this battery is gonna go. I'm super impressed so far. Let's keep going. I am gonna have to find a new route because I'm getting bored with this one mile loop. <laughs> this thing rips. We're at 12 and a half miles. I literally just drove up that mountain with a minor league baseball player hitchhiker. That's kind of cool. I showed him some hiking trails. Uh, we're at 75% battery and 12 and a half miles. This thing is nuts. I'm super impressed. At 16 miles, I'm at 69%. If my math is correct, that should put me in the 45, 50, 50 mile plus range. And I am not going easy. This terrain is not flat. My foot has been on the pedal all the way to the floor. 
since I got here. The battery itself is not overheating. The BMS is not overheating. The app is awesome because you can actually check that. This thing is just being a rock star. There's no way I can stay out here for 50 miles. I think we're gonna have to call this one. We're gonna have to call it awesome. I'm gonna get this back on the truck and load it up and we're gonna have a few thoughts. I am absolutely blown away by this battery. I had really low expectations and this Chins battery blew them all out of the water. Check it out yourself. I'll put a link in the description. I am going to torture test this. I've decided to clean this cart up and send it off to the in-laws. They live in a community that allows golf carts. My father-in-law is having a hard time getting around. So I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to get it painted. I'm going to throw a light kit on it. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.